<laughs> Stop. <laughs> Let me pick some way. <laughs> wow. Where's this smell coming from? All right, guys. Today's question of the day is, which do you prefer, sailboat or a trawler? So we've been on both for a good amount of time. First, it was Tula, 26-foot sailboat that I spent a few years on, and Sierra was on it with me for a few months um, while we sailed through the Keys, and that's really it, right? Yeah, and we've been on the trawler for a year now. Yep, so we've been on the trawler for a year, and... Um, we just sailed that for a month all through the Bahamas, all the way down to the Exumas and back. So, we've gotten so many questions since we've experienced both. What do you prefer, a sailboat versus a trawler? So, we're going to go through that with you a little bit and let you know what we think. First category, comfort. As a liveaboard and on an anchor, sailboat versus a trawler. What do you think? Definitely trawler. I, but there are two that we were on a 26 foot sailboat and a 34 foot trawler so that's a big difference yeah so we did have a lot more room on the trawler but it was a lot bigger granted i did like on the trawler how everything was much more open inside it's like more squarish and, and kind of boxy so you did have a lot more open space on the inside and then on the outside you even had a lot more deck space because you had the up top yeah, like even on the front, you don't have anywhere to sit really on the sailboat without having lines and sails and stuff in the way. It was cool hanging out on the trawler, living on it with all that open space. Now, what about like day-to-day -day activities like cooking and and sleeping and all that? Definitely a trawler still. We have like the same thing. We have that huge wide open space to cook. I mean, a little more comfortable on the trawler for us in our experience. All right, what about comfort underway or comfort at sea? It depends on the weather. <laughs> Having all the open space so we can walk around the, and over there. read books or work on stuff and not be like scrunched inside or scrunched outside. Like you have space to walk around and move. Yeah, and you could go like up top. That was another cool part too, especially cruising through the Exumas or the Bahamas was that like when you were driving from the flybridge or up top, um, you had you know that higher view of everything which was pretty neat but that was when it was calm so one of the biggest points I want to make is that on the sailboat when it was rough especially when the swell and the wind was beamed too on a sailboat you're gonna be healed over a little so you're never sitting upright you're never sitting upright <laughs> but when you have wind on your beam on a trawler, the trawler's going to go back and forth and back and forth. And it got pretty violent at times for us. Like, stuff was crashing around. On a sailboat, you're going to be heeled over. So that's going to kind of keep you a little more steady on those beam two uh, seas. Um, so I'd say that's more comfortable on a sailboat for sure. The thing about a trawler when you're underway also is that you can go straight into the wind, obviously. So if timing is kind of an issue for you, if you have to be somewhere at a certain time, and you got to get there, it was way easier in a trawler. You could just set it and you're going. If you're going to be on a sailboat and you really want to sail, you got to kind of wait for the right conditions, um, wait for the right wind, the right direction, and it might take you a little bit longer if you have to tack or jibe um, with the wind. But like security, like ease of mind. For a sailboat, you know you have sails and you know you have an engine, but a trawler, we had one engine. If something breaks, we're screwed. Yeah, that's a good point. So on our trawler, it was an older engine, too, from 73. And if that engine broke, that's a big reason we brought our 16-foot whale and we were towing it with a 60-horsepower engine because if our trawler engine did break without that, we would be screwed, dead in the water. Uh, even with a little dinghy, it would be... Uh, no fun trying to get that trawler somewhere. I don't think a little dinghy could do anything really for it. But uh, I know since we did have that six, 16 foot whaler, if the engine did break down, we could at least tow that trawler somewhere. And Sierra's right with a sailboat, you always have options. You have your engine, if the engine breaks, you have sails, and you could always rig some sort of sailing rig to get somewhere even if uh, things break, even if a boom breaks or a mast breaks. There's always a way to rig something to be able to sell yourself something so that's definitely a big plus for sailboats what about costs well <laughs> it's definitely cheaper on a sailboat because if you have wind you're not using any fuel on the trawler we had to use fuel the entire time yeah 
but that's really our only cost. Yeah, so that's the main cost difference, is just the fuel. And if you go slow in a trawler, you can save yourself a good amount of fuel, but it's going to be nothing compared to a sailboat. Even if you're using your sailboat diesel engine a lot of the time, that engine's going to take a lot less fuel than a trawler engine's going to take. Um, just because usually it's much less horsepower and the sailboat um, probably more efficient through the water. And usually your motor sailing too, so it'll add a little more efficiency. That's sure. the biggest cost difference, I think. I mean, even maintenance will be pretty similar. In the sailboat, you got to maintain your, your rigging a little bit more, but in the trawler, you, it might be a little more expensive to maintain your engine, so probably be even out. So we're thinking now that we've said all this, that the next option may be a catamaran. We have the best of both worlds. Sierra likes the idea of a catamaran, so. <laughs> we have a sail in case the engine breaks, and we have the wide open space. And we're sitting upright. Yes, we're sitting upright. I would like to include the uh, the option of a motor a motor sailor or a, uh, like a pilot house sail, sailboat. Kind of test that out, see that how that is. I love the idea of sailing efficiently. Sierra just wants to be upright. <laughs> on a trawler, you're always going to hear that engine. No matter where you are on the boat, even up on the bow, you hear the engine. And inside, it's pretty loud. So I really miss when we're, we're sailing, only hearing the sound of the wind and the sound of the water against the, the hull of the boat. On a trawler, you're always going to hear that engine. It's pretty loud inside. Um, it's always a little bit of stress on, on, on your the back of your mind. Uh, knowing that that engine could could fail no matter how much maintenance you do just much more peaceful underway on a sailboat do you agree yeah all right so let's wrap it up so go away if you guys are trying to decide what's right for you a trawler or a sailboat just think about everything we talked about and basically if you want to get from point a to point b you don't really have the time to wait or you don't really have the patience to wait for the right wind or the right weather a trawler is probably going to be for you, especially if you can afford the little extra expense of fuel um, and you have a backup plan if your engine fails. Or you could have two engines. Or you could have t twin engines on your trawler. But if you have time and you love sailing and you don't mind waiting for the right conditions to sail somewhere, then definitely go with that sailboat. And you don't mind being sideways. And you don't mind being heeled <laughs> over a little bit. Maybe have a catamaran as an option. But that's just just takes some getting used to but if you're in between if sometimes you have time sometimes you don't a sailboat has the best of both worlds maybe even a motor sailor has the best of both worlds you can sail when it's convenient and you can still use the motor when it's not and that concludes our question of the day look at the sunset I know, it's